200 meters T46 semi final Johannes Pikart, Castillo Santos, and Lalwala Paliag. So there is Albertina Johannes of Namibia in lane three, season's best 29.06. Katarina Pikart, 27-18. This girl's got the lot. She's the world record holder, the Paralympic champion, the world champion, Castillo of Cuba, is the one to beat in this semi-final. If anyone's going to beat her, it'll be this lady, Teresina Santos. And it's Lalwala Paliak of Sri Lanka. You'll notice there's always a cameraman in sight when you see a Brazilian athlete. Because there's an enormous Brazilian media presence here as they gear up to host the next Paralympic Games in three years' time. So Johannes of Namibia on the inside. Picard Castillo Santos and Lal Wala Paliag. And expect Castillo to win this ahead of Santos. First three in each heat go through. The next two fastest advance to the final. Five in this, five in the next one. Eight will get into the final. Combined event, more than one category. T46 and T47. Looked like the lane four to me got away quickly there. It's a false start. High card of Poland may well be getting a, a visit here with a flag. Or a card. I do hope it's not a red for her sake. Yep, the camera's picking her out as well, so that doesn't look good for Katarina Pikart. Seems somewhat obvious. Now, will it be a green card or a yellow or something a little bit more serious for the Polish athlete here, Katarzyna Pikart? They're having a good think about it. Yeah, these are the guys in blue who will make that decision. They're all in green. Line four. She said before he shot. She said before he shot. And he shot. Some of these guys share the bus in with us in the mornings. They're always very jolly when they get on the bus. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Do we agree? Are they agreeing? It's not. Uh, Worrying moments for Katarina Pikart. Does not look good for her. She's trying not to let it get to her. She's just hoping it won't be a red. It's going to be a green, is it? No, it's a red. It's no, a it's red. red on the other side. Red on the other side. We saw it the green side round. It's a red. She can't believe it. And they're pointing her away. It was a false start. And Katarina Pikart has no option but to take a top and walk off. And that is the end of her place in the semi final. What a shame, and she just walks off and has been consoled by somebody over on the far side. So now, just four ladies left in, Johannes of Namibia, Castillo of Cuba, Santos of Brazil, and Lal Wala Paliag of Sri Lanka. And she's absolutely gutted by that. The friend that was consoling her gets a whack with the T-shirt. <sighs> Such a shame for these athletes. And they train so hard for two years and then that happens. Tense moments always for sprinters. But the judges were all agreed. And it was a red card. Very necessary, of course, for the sport to be strict. They're a bit more lenient with those with intellectual impairment, but this is a race for people with limb deficiencies. And away extremely fast is Castillo of Cuba and Santos of Brazil. Castillo of Cuba already 
pass. She's going extremely well, Castillo. She's the world record holder, the world champion, the Paralympic champion, and she's absolutely streaking away. Castillo of Cuba in the middle lane from Santos of Brazil. So relaxed running, and she's easing up, and she has run 26.09. Castillo of Cuba, very, very relaxed there. 26.09. And she is through to the final. So too is Santos of Brazil. So look how well she runs that first bend. Easing away. She is through along with Santos of Brazil and Johannes of Namibia. Last time we saw her, she didn't look as good as that. Unidas Castillo qualifies 26.07, 27.15 for Teresina Santos and Albertina Johannes with a personal best qualifies in 28.59. And Lal Wala Paliag of Sri Lanka also sets a personal best. 28.62. So you remember Castillo, she was the uh, lady who collapsed after the 400 metres and had uh, took quite a while to be taken off the track.